they're like our kind. Uh, no, they're actually like a wool blend. Because they look very, like, comfortable, I actually... You want to try them pick... on later? Uh, yeah, totally. Nice. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Game On. Uh, we're here to talk about video games, as you all know. Yeah. Uh, again, like we said earlier, just to recap, uh, games are my life. Uh, games are the only thing to do with life. Uh, and if I'm not playing games, i got to talk about games, or else I will uh, start hemorrhaging from the inside out. So I think that's, <clears throat> I think that's Ebola. Uh, it might be the plague, but you know, either way, the point remains. Cursed with the consumption. <laughs> uh, uh, video games are a power fantasy, right? Video yes. games are all about living out these fantasies that you've always wanted to live but will never be able to experience. Yes. Me, personally, a fantasy of mine is Jet Pilot. Like, I want to yes. fly around, I want to shoot people down. I wanna... Yeah. It's... Are there games that let me do that? No, actually. There is no dogfighting simulator game uh, on the market right now. Um, except, actually, for Luftrausers. <gasps> uh, I totally forgot, but wow. Luftrausers is a game all about it's like an alternate World War II timeline, uh, 2D dogfighting game. It's really fun. Do we have a review for it? You spoiled me. <laughs> I can't believe I even forgot I had a review for it. Wow. But, you know, I do. So, Luftrausers is a 2D dogfighting game. Mm -hmm. uh, again, like I said, set in a really weird, like, Kafka-esque World War well, II. Okay, how about we cut to the review? and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay. All right, let's do that. Luff Browsers is the ultimate 2D dogfighting simulator. Set in what seems to be an alternative reality World War II, you play as an ace dogfighter for a faux propagandized German force. Luff Browsers is aesthetically unique. It's carbon copied 1930s propaganda, but with a bizarre sci-fi edge to it. At the game score is a wide array of customization options. There are three parts that you can use to make your Luftrauser. The weapon, the body, and the engine. It doesn't seem like much, but it's enough to keep you busy until you find your favorite setup. There's basic stuff like machine guns and lasers, but then you get into the crazy stuff, like an engine that's a gun or a body that's just like a nuke, or a nuke with a machine gun engine and a laser. Once you mix and match, you can launch out of your massive submarine and open fire on a swarm of enemies that range from dogfires to gunships. The game drops you immediately into a fast-paced, hectic combat that truly earns the term bullet hell. You will die again and again until you develop a sort of want and zeal for you and your fictional army. Then it's not about the combo scores anymore, you're out for blood. The game is based off simple controls and mechanics, but the devil is in the detail of the game. Like how every combo of parts has a name, like the Maverick or Terror from the Deep. The dynamic soundtrack is phenomenal, and Luftrausers' experience is not complete without it. Luftrausers is a really well put together game with a one of a kind aesthetic, and though it seems to get shallow at times, the customization features keep it from going stale. All in all, we give it 8 gun engine laser nukes out of 10. So I'm, uh, Luftra are, you, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you were like asleep or not. I am awake. Alive, talking about games. I started to shut down because I, I went a little while without talking about games. But, mm -hmm. but no, don't worry, dude. Your backs were ready I'm to talk about Luft Rousers. Luft Rousers mm -hmm. is a cool game. It is cool. I like that game. It's a cool game for cool guys, you know, like me. Mm -hmm. Cool guys. How did, uh, you were telling me about how <clears throat> Luft Rousers kind of got its start on, uh, Newgrounds. Yeah, yeah I believe site. it was originally on Newgrounds. It was more or less a demo um, because, you know, in Luftrausers, there's a, a crazy amount of customization for your, um, for your Luftrauser. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the original game, it was kind of a stripped down version. A lot of the, the same functionalities remained, but there was a lot less uh, variability in uh, how you sort of compose your Luftrauser. Uh, and it basically served as the equivalent of a demo. Um, and then it got picked up by uh, uh, a bigger company, and it, it picked up enough Steam that it was able to get published on Steam. What? Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause, right? Hey, Come on, guys. No, no, round no of thanks. No, you're too fat. No, no. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, not to toot my own horn, but that was pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but 
Um, Newgrounds is actually, and other Flash game sites, Flash games is a really like big um, jumping off point for a lot of uh, really, really popular indie game developers like Edmund McMillan, the creator of uh, Super Meat Boy and uh, is Binding of Isaac. Is he just like as a like an individual, is he Team Meat or is it's, uh, did he create Meat Boy and <clears throat> then he kind of got a team to it's, make Super Meat Boy? He is, I believe, more or less the art side of Team Meat, whereas the coding side is more um, a guy named Tommy R. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but uh, it's a it's a two guy team for Team Meat, um, and uh, but actually Binding of Isaac was more or less a solo project of his. I always forget that Binding of Isaac is it like a Team Meat game. Yeah, well, it's not. It's just Ed McMillan. But... Okay, so it... yeah, that he. So Ed McMillan is the the uh, the Walt Disney. Of Team Meat, like if Team Meat is yeah. Disney, then he is like the head head mm-hmm. dude in charge, and, and then the other guy is added... Pixar. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Wait, it's only two guys? Yep, that's what I just said. I just told you that. I feel like that's not a team. You never listen to me. No, I lit. No, you never listen. No, to me. because like what? Okay, so team, Team Meat, <sighs> Team right? Meat, Team Meat. You're thinking a team of two meat. Uh, yeah, technically, but. Uh, uh, a team, I really don't. It's not two people is not a team. You can you can have a two person. A, a duo, a duo is a or a part like partners. Yeah, it's uh, not a team. You can send them an email and say you should rename your company like the Brothers Meet or something like that. <laughs> I actually really like the Brothers Meet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Edmund McMillan got his start uh, publishing games to Newgrounds, and actually. Uh, all those games were later released on Steam as the Basement Collection, um, like just a huge collection of his like small little parcels of games. Um, <clears throat> and the Behemoth, they also got their start. I don't know if it was on Newgrounds specifically, but by making Flash games. Like Alien Hominid was originally a Flash game before it well, got. We played it on the show. Yeah, and Castle Crashers. We did um, play Castle Crashers. I don't know if that started as a. Uh, Flash game, but it was I made by the same company. I think that, uh, it did. I think Castle Crashers was like their first like big mm-hmm. original uh, like arcade game. Yeah. Hey, and look where they are now. Yeah, man, making a uh, Battle Block Theater. Battle Block Theater, which yeah. is it's pretty. It's okay. Pretty popular. It's pretty good. All their games it's are pretty bad. popular and pretty good. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good. I like them. But uh, Love Trousers is a cool game. Yeah, uh, Love I Trousers really like the like the way that. Mm-hmm. Planes handled, how it's very yeah. like momentum based, like all that other yeah. stuff. Yeah, and there's a ton of um, replayability, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's really hard. Yeah, it is. It very is hard. so hard. Uh, they have like the equivalent of like boss mm-hmm. um, things, and like the big boss uh, is like a blimp that shows up, and. I've never killed the blimp. I don't know if it's even possible. I I'm, assume it is. But. I'm sure we'll kill the blimp someday. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we need to take another break. Uh, when we come back, we'll be talking about more video games.